In this video, I'll show you how to clone yourself in Affinity Photo. This is going to be so much fun, so let's get started. If you'd like to follow along with me, I've left a download link to the photos that I'll be using in the video description. So this project might seem a little intimidating, but it's actually super easy. Just look at how short this video is. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take a few pictures and try to keep the camera as steady as you can. In this case, I used a tripod. Then I just moved to a new spot for each picture. Okay, so once you have your pictures in Affinity Photo, you can go up to File, then New Stack. Then using this dialog box, just click on Add. And then you can select the pictures that you took. Go ahead and open those. And it will automatically align these images, which is perfect, just in case there's any movement of your camera. Go ahead and press OK. And now all of the pictures will be stacked together in a group. At this point, just double check if you have any weird edges. You might need to crop it in just a little bit, but in this case, we look like we're doing good. So I'm going to come over here. Here we have our group. I'm going to right click and then go down to where it says ungroup. So now we have all three of these pictures and we're going to work on them each individually. I'm just going to turn off the top two and I'm going to use this one, number one, as our base picture. So all of the other clones, <laughs> they're going to sit on top of this background. So this background will stay consistent and we'll just paint in the clones over here. So to get that started, I'll turn on this next layer. I want to add a mask. And then instead of a white mask, I'm going to invert this by pressing Command or Control I. So now this layer is fully invisible. I'm going to grab my paintbrush and then I'm going to change my color to white. And with full flow, I'm going to paint this in. So I'm just going to paint where the clone is to reveal her. When you get to an area like this, where we're getting kind of close to the other person, I'm just going to use my bracket keys to make my brush a bit smaller. And then I'm going to paint fully to reveal this. Just make sure that this clone is fully visible first. And then I'm going to go in here with a smaller brush and I'm going to switch my color to black by pressing X on my keyboard. And then I can remove to reveal the newspaper again. And it looks like I erased some of the hand now, so I'll press X again and I'll just paint in the hand. And you can do this back and forth as much as you'd like, painting in white to reveal the clone and painting in black to remove from the clone's layer. Okay, at this point, I think that looks pretty good. It's always fun when your clones overlap just a little bit. It makes it a little trickier to paint, but I think this effect looks really cool when you do that. I'm just going to repeat this process once again with this last layer. So turning this on, I'll select it. I'll apply a mask to it. And then I'll press Command or Control I to invert this layer. And now I can switch my paint color to white by pressing X. And with a nice large brush, I'm just going to paint this clone in. I like to make sure the clone is fully painted in first. And then we can go back and remove anything that shouldn't be there. So back here, we're starting to see the chair. We shouldn't see that there because this clone's covering it. So I'll switch my color to black by pressing X. And then I'll carefully paint. I pressed Command or Control Z to undo because I wasn't very careful there. Make sure all the hair is visible there. So I'm just going to quickly clean this up. The shoulder is a little bit tricky, so just use a very small brush and go nice and slow to get this edge looking right. I'll 
All right, and I think I missed one area. On this layer, if I just select the mask here, I'm going to change my color to white and I'll make my brush nice and large. There's a little bit of a shadow from this clone that's being cast on the table. So I just want to make sure that I get that. But now I think we're done. <laughs> just like that, I look like I have a set of twin sisters here. <laughs> Super fun and easy. I hope you try it for yourself. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.